I've got some good news for you. You've actually got a match for me this week? Actually, yes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that kind of good news. Thank you. I should clarify. It's not on SmackDown, but at a non-televised live event. Dana Brooke was supposed to have a match, but she did one too many handsprings, sprained her wrist, and can't compete this weekend. A match is a match, and if it helps me win a little favor around here to step up, count me in. Winning the match would help you gain even more favor. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Come on, let's go!
I know you're having a bit of a rough start, but it's like I always say, work hard, treat people fairly, and earn respect. Speaking of, if you'd like an opportunity to get some work in, I know someone who can put you through the ringer at the PC. Ever since she had to do a WWE decathlon during her PC training, she's loved giving newbies the same treatment. Someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit. And I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides, I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know, that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realize I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not, Having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted, legend-obsessed WWE management. Especially when I win. So you're in? I'm in. 
but I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. Ruthless Universe? You know I'm not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be can't miss. So don't miss it. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. Blessed with natural ability and her aunt's guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. This is a woman ready to do some damage. Tireless and fearless, it's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. Welcome to main event where Justine's niece is looking to put her Survivor Series debut in the rearview mirror against up and coming superstar Ava Moreno. Well, I've seen Ava at the PC and she's as determined to make it in WWE as anyone out there. She'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent. Come on, Corey, give Ava's opponent a chance. Rumor has it she's been hustling to get much needed ring reps, so I, for one, am looking forward to seeing what she can do. The early cover! That's too soon. Uh, she's able to kick out before the reps count. She still has her expelling unnecessary energy with that attempt. And Ava pays for leaving an opening. For the ride. The fallaway slam. And I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. And a close line. Sidewalk slam. Looking for an early pin. And she kicks out. Maybe she knew that wasn't going to put her away, but it definitely kept her down for a beat. An agile escape. Just driven into the mat. Look at this kicking combination. Oh, no mercy behind that forearm. She's beginning to flag a little. 
She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Moreno changes the direction of that one. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Oh, just turn that around. And here come the punches. Placing them into the corner. Oh, another one for good measure. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And the momentum's clearly gotten away from her now. And you know now she must rethink her strategy. Butterfly double underhook up and face buster. Shoulders down for the count. Two. You rarely see a full two count this early. Vicious forearm right to the skull. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Come on, you don't hit a WWE official. It was clearly an accident, Corey. But one that it looks like Ava is willing to take advantage of. Drop to the hole under the chair. A chair, a downed referee, and an opportunity. What's she gonna do? Looks like both these women are ready to play dirty. She's going to use the chair. Ava with a bit of a tribute to Eddie Guerrero. And now the referee thinks she used the chair. It's a disqualification. It may not be the ending to this match we deserve, but it's the one we got. I can't imagine either of these two women are terribly happy with the outcome. I don't know, Cole. It looks like Ava might be. And at the end of the day, it's still a W for her.